Hello everybody. Today I'm going to unbox and assemble this US General 30 inch four drawer rolling tech cart. My wife got me this for my birthday. It sells at Harbor Freight for $159.99 but there are always coupons out there that you can get this for $99.99 up to $109.99 so please never pay full retail for this there's always a coupon first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the sides down on this box on top you'll find your keys let's spin it around so we can actually see the front of it pop the styrofoam off of each end get that plastic off all right use your keys to unlock the top you'll find your uprights your hydraulics for your lid owner's manual we don't need that all four uprights are identical here I'm gonna flip the box back up on its end so I can get the tray off the bottom Now let's open up the other drawers to find the rest of our parts. Here we've got a box that has the wheels and our handle and then we've got our cross members wrapped up in bubble wrap. So there's our handle. Now once we open this box we'll see our four wheels in there. We've got two fixed casters and two swivel casters with locks. Also in this box will be two bags of nuts and bolts and washers. The first step in assembly will be to put the wheels on. Each wheel will take four bolts, four washers, and four locking nuts. The tray is identical on each end, so just pick one end and put your non-swivel wheels on that end. Go ahead and tighten up the bolts for the first wheel and then repeat the process for the second wheel. So far I'm finding that the bolt holes are lining up with the wheels just fine. No issues. Now on this end I'll be putting the swivel casters. Again four bolts, four washers, and four locking nuts. It does help to have an extension on your impact driver or whatever you're using that way you can get out of the way of the wheel they are fairly tall all right we have our four wheels on now it's time to put the uprights on as I mentioned before the uprights are all identical you'll just want to make sure that the holes for the crossbars are up towards the top. Four bolts, four washers, and four locking nuts hold each of the uprights to the corners.
Once the uprights are installed, now it's time to put the support for the toolbox. These are the cross braces I mentioned earlier. And there'll be two bolts that hold each of these in place. Now it's time to start thinking about which end you want your handle on for your toolbox. You can mount the handle on either end. You'll just want to line up your swiveling wheels with the handle on the same end. I'm going to go ahead and put my handle and the swivel wheels on the right hand side of the toolbox. Now if you have a little help this will make this part a little easier but pick the toolbox up, slide it down in the uprights and the lip will sit on the top of the uprights just make sure it is locked on there just like that and then four bolts will hold each corner of the toolbox portion to the uprights here's a better view of the bolts going through putting on the washer and the lock nuts on the end with the handle the bottom set of bolts will be the ones that secure the handle to the toolbox. So go ahead and run it through your handle, through the toolbox, put your washer and nut on the inside. Do not tighten any of these yet. You want to make sure the toolbox is sitting level. So go ahead and install them all and then tighten them all at one time. Alright, here I'm going to roll it off my cardboard so it'll just be sitting level on the concrete. And I'm going to go ahead and start tightening these up. The bottom bolts on the end will require a wrench. So you can go ahead and get the other 12 bolts tightened up. Then on those last four, just use a wrench. All right, now that we have those installed, it's time to install the hydraulics for the lid. On this, the hydraulic arms will be to the inside of the screwdriver storage area. All right, that works great. All right, you have screwdriver storage inside the main toolbox compartment and on the cross members below. You have plungers that lock the drawers when the lid is in the close and lock position. It's a good looking unit for 99 bucks. However, I did have one problem with it after I got it together. All of the drawers that lock with the left plunger would not open. The one that locked with the right hand plunger would open and close. I did find out that the nut had fallen off the bottom of the left hand plunger and I did fix that and I will show that in a separate video. So just check my channel's videos for the repair that I made. As you can see after I finish the repair everything works as it should. Again, good looking toolbox for $99. My wife told me if I kept this thing clean and organized that it would be like magic. Anytime I went to it and opened the drawer, whatever I needed would be there. So let's test it. I need a plain blade screwdriver. What do you know? I need an adjustable wrench. You gotta be kidding me. I need some mechanical pencils. This just can't be happening. I need 20 bucks. My wife is a genius. 
Okay, the final test. I need a 10 millimeter socket. Okay, it is magic. Keep your stuff organized. I appreciate you watching this video. Have a great day.